Hello, my name is Lucas Wickley. Recently, I had a science project that we had to do for science class. Obviously, it's right in front of me. Um, yeah, okay. It's a wind tunnel, if you were wondering. So I'm gonna start from this end and explain to the rest. So, on this end, you can't really see it on the camera, but there is a powerful motor, DC motor, it runs up into this project box. Now on this project box, there is a safety switch to turn on and off the fan and a potentiometer to limit the amount of electricity going to the fan. So you can adjust the uh, speed of the wind. Now this is important when you use smoke because that some smokes will disintegrate in high winds. So you have to adjust it and get their sweet spot. So that's how it works and um, here's a demo. Okay, and then there's a light switch, it's already on. Sorry. And then, um, so this is a bent piece of plexiglass. And so we got a blowtorch and we heated it up and then bent it around this shape. And so it made a snap on case. Inside there is a, a wing and it's painted yellow so you can see it. And it's adjustable so you can turn it and see the different movements of the wind on a wing. Of course, you can put other stuff into this chamber, but right now I only have a wing. I forgot to mention, right here is a filter and it's not a filter like for air or anything. It's for wind direction. So what happens is when the wind goes through the fan, it gets all chopped up and it's not even. So the filter just straightens it out and makes it so that the control surface inside of the wind tunnel is a lot more consistent. Thank you.